Today we're going to be going over the song Anthology by Thrice. <laughs> Alright, just to preface, um, Dustin and Tepe are both using baritone guitars, so the tuning and the fret placement of where they're doing the different riffs in the song are going to be completely different than what we're doing. Um, we're playing it based off of a standard guitar or tuned down half step on Cabo 2. Alright, the first riff in the song uh, starts off with uh, the intro, um, and it's going to be played behind uh, what Dustin is doing. Um, in the rhythm section. He's just, Tepe is just playing uh, on the 14th fret on the G and high E string and then the 12th fret on the B and he's just going to be revolving picking from the E string to the B to the G. Then you're going to bar the B and high
high E string with your index finger uh, and do the same revolving pattern. And it repeats those and it does it three times behind the chords that Dustin is doing in the rhythm. Alright, the next riff is going to be starting on the G string. You're going to play the 11th fret, pull off to open, hit the open G string, play the 6th fret, hammer on to 7th, and then pull off to open. Play the 9th fret, pull off, 7th fret, pull off, 6th fret, pull off. The second time, it'll start the first way. And you're going to play the 7th fret on the B string, then the 10th fret on the B string, pull off to the 7th fret, and then the 7th fret on the G string. The riff that he plays during the verse is just going to be an arpeggio uh, on an F major position chord. Um, you're going to start on the 12th fret and work your way down the 11th and 10th fret. You're going to start by plucking the D string, pluck up from the B, G, D, B, G, and then you're going to place your pinky finger down on the 12th fret on the B string as well and do the same pattern. Next riff, he moves the same position down to um, the fifth, fourth, and third fret. Uh, you're going to do the same picking pattern, except you're going to play different uh, notes after each pass through. You're going to place your pinky down just like you did on the riff beforehand. Then you're going to play the high E open. To the first position in the verse, uh, and it does the same pattern except half time. During the chorus, he's doing a double stop bend, moves up a half step, back down a half step, and down a whole step. Then goes into the riff on the G string. During the bridge, he's going to be playing uh, an arpeggiation similar to what he does in the verse, except he's going to be playing a different chord. Um, it's going to be like a D minor formation on the 11th, 10th, and 12th fret. Then you're going to bar down on the 10th fret. To an A minor position, starting from the 11th, 10th, and 9th fret. He does that one double the amount of times that he does the other two. He hits the open G string and shifts down his fingers to the D minor position down on the 4th, 3rd, and 5th fret. back up doing the same pattern again, after he does the second chord, um, after moving down, he goes to the note on the third fret G string. After the bridge, it goes back into the chorus, does the same parts, um, and at the very end of the song, he goes back to the riff on the G string. He ends on it four times, um, and every time he repeats through it, he's going to end on the differentiation to the B string. And so, yeah, just have fun with it, and rock face.